Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Hubble Trading Post National Historic Site. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Hubble Trading Post National Historic Site is one of two National Historic Sites located in the great state of Arizona. Fact number two, John Lorenzo Hubble purchased the Trading Post in 1878, just 10 years after the Navajo were allowed to return to their homeland from their terrible exile at Bosque Redondo, Fort Sumner, New Mexico. During their four years they spent at Bosque Redondo, the Navajos were introduced to many new items, and traders like Hubble supplied those items to them once they returned home. Fact number three, Hubble had an enduring influence on the Navajo rug weaving and silversmithing, for he constantly demanded and promoted excellence in craftsmanship. He built a trading empire that included a stage and freight lines as well as several different trading posts. Fact number four, when Mr. Hubble chose this site for his business, he recognized the importance of water and set up his business there because of the Pueblo, Colorado wash flows throughout the site. Fact number five, Hubble family members operated the trading post until it was sold to the National Park Service in 1967. The trading post was still active and operated by the nonprofit organization Western National Parks Association for the National Park Service. Fact number six, at various times, Hubble and his two sons, together or separately, owned 24 trading posts, a wholesale house in Winslow, and other business and ranch properties. Beyond this question, he was the foremost Navajo trader of the time. Fact number seven, the movement to bring Hubble Trading Post into the National Park Service started in 1957. Hubble Trading Post National Historic Site was established by an act of Congress on August 28th in 1965. Fact number eight, nearly everything that the Hubble family owned is preserved for your enjoyment. The buildings are furnished with their belongings and the artifacts are available for researchers. The collection is over 350,000 individual items, including the family archives of 264,000 different business records. Fact number nine, much of the original natural landscape has been manipulated by humans, especially since the arrival of European settlers in the mid 1800s. The settlers introduced domestic animals, including horses, cattle, and sheep to this region. Navajo people soon became adapt ranchers and maintained large herds in this area. In an attempt to protect the herds, coyotes, badgers, and foxes were eventually hunted down and their numbers greatly were reduced. Fact number 10, John Lorenzo Hubble cleared over 100 acres of this land and there he grew alfalfa, further reducing the vegetation at this site. During the late 1950s, Hubble's agricultural fields were no longer cultivated and native as well as non-native plant species once again took over the cultural landscape. Well everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and little bell next one to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you next video. Bye!